Right now, on this first day of July, several new Georgia laws take effect, including the controversial campus carry law. Joining me this morning is criminal defense attorney Jason Swindle. He's also an adjunct professor of criminology at the University of West Georgia. Uh, good morning, and thank you for coming in to talk about this. Good morning, Meg. I'm glad to be here. Let's talk about the basics. How will this work? Where are the guns allowed on campuses? Well, it's really pretty simple. First of all, you've got to have what Georgia calls a firearms uh, or a Georgia weapons license. In order to get a Georgia weapons license, you have to go to the probate court and apply for one. They have a background check, and if you pass a background check over 21 years of age, then they'll go ahead and issue um, a permit for you. Now, when you have the permit, as of today, you can go on to any public university campus, not, not necessarily private, but public universities, and you can carry a concealed weapon on the campus. But there are certain excluded areas where you cannot carry uh, a concealed weapon. Some of those are athletic facilities, uh, athletic events and buildings associated with that, uh, student housing, fraternity houses, sorority houses, uh, child care facilities that may be on a campus, um, and classrooms. And most importantly, you can't carry them in offices where the professors actually sit and work. So that brings me to what you do. You're an adjunct professor. Your main job, criminal defense attorney, but you go on to a college campus. Yes. What, this is something you support, by the way. I want to be crystal clear. You support this measure. How are you feeling going into this, and why do you, um, why do you feel safer? I feel, well, I strongly support it, and I feel safer. Uh, my class typically starts at 5.30 uh, p.m. and ends at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, during the spring semester, which starts in January. So it's dark when we leave class. And I walk from the classroom to my vehicle. Uh, usually feel safe. There have been times where I have wished that I did have a gun on my person walking back to the vehicle. Uh, now I'll be able to do that, and other people will be able to do that. So it does keep us safer, professors, students, visitors on campus, because it's no longer a gun-free zone. And gun-free zones are the most dangerous places anybody can ever be. Now, I can imagine you were hearing arguments on all sides from the, the community um, at the college. What, what is the feedback you're hearing from professors, from students? The feedback that I hear from the general community is very supportive. Now, some of the college professors, some of the university presidents across Georgia do not support this. Uh, I respect their opinion. I respect the way they feel. Um, the, right, the way that I feel, the way that I feel so strongly about this, or the reason why, is just basic logic. When you have a predator who wants to attack somebody, they're going to find the weakest point in the weakest person. Where do you go to do that? You go to a place where people cannot defend themselves. And I was reminded recently uh, by Senator Mike Dugan that there was a study done in 2014 that said of all public shootings, 92% of those were in gun-free zones. Quickly, before we wrap up, do you have any concern about bringing guns onto campuses, whether or not students follow the rules, where students are, are maybe drinking alcohol, or where there may already be uh, volatile, um, uh, you know, aggressive situations where, where college students could be gathering? Just throwing guns into the mix. Do you have any concern with that? Well, I don't because guns are already in the mix. Um, as you stated, I'm a criminal defense attorney, and uh, there are many guns on all campuses right now that are there legally. You can actually have a gun in your vehicle right now or even yesterday if it's locked, so that's legal. Uh, the alcohol situation, again, that's been that way for many years, but when you have people who have permits or have uh, the carry license here in Georgia, those are going to be your more responsible people and law-abiding people because they went through the proper steps to get those. So maybe there will be more guns on campus, but perhaps some of these people who are breaking the law by having guns without permits will take that example and perhaps become law-abiding. 
Jason Swindle, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Thank you, Megan. And for more information about the campus carry law and all the other new laws going into effect in Georgia today, head to our website, cbs46.com.